What's going on guys? This is JT here. I am over here on the iOS server on my free to play account and IGG came out with an event today that is very free to play friendly. Make sure you guys do not miss it. It is called Enchanting Changes and this event's actually going to make me augment my Aries right now because I have a 5 of 5 silence and shot just waiting. But take a look. So we got change enchantments three times and you get 900 gems. Well, guess what? It cost 900 gems to change enchantments three times. So that's basically free three enchantment changes. So all you free-to-play players on iOS, and I'm sure Android's going to have this event too if it hasn't already had it. I'm sure they have. Make sure you do not miss out on that. Now, the problem that I have is I really didn't want to spend any shards, any fame, augmenting, or double evolving my Ares. But I got super lucky and rolled a 5 of 5 silencing shot. And it's like, okay, I'm not just going to throw this on a random hero on my free-to-play account. You know what I mean? So this really needs to go on Ares. So I am going to go ahead and augment this bad boy right now. So I got to buy, what do I have to buy? Five of these because I have one backup Ares. And I'm going to use it. I might as well because I feel like I'm going to get three more Ares anyway. And then we got the augmenting stone. So I'm still left with 27,000 fame, which is not bad. Now watch this bad boy be born with 505 silencing shot. That'd just be crazy. All right, so we got one Ares. There we go. Augmented is done. Air Skeptor of War. We are all set. Let's see what he got for traits. Garbage traits. That's okay. Then we'll wait for either the traits event or spin gems and win to roll that. And he came with silencing shot. Are you serious? Wow, that would have been clutch if I didn't have a 5 of 5 sitting here waiting. We'll take that, though. Now my bad boy Ares has a 5 of 5 silencing shot looking all sexy, baby. All right, so now we can roll three free traits or uh, enchantment talents. Who do we need enchantment talents on the most? I guess Michael because increased attack speed 10%. Eh, it's not really the best for him. The 6% chance to stun an enemy target. It's pretty nice because he does get attacked a lot. Come on, we want to see anything above a 1 of 5 one time. Come on, IGG, what do you got for me on the free-to-play one time? We got... Ooh, 1 of 5 blinding blow. 7% chance. I'm probably not going to waste blinding blow, honestly. Well, yeah, I might be wasting it. It'd be, would it be better than Malice? Definitely not replacing any. I could go with Blinding Blow on Michael, honestly. I mean, it's pretty good on Michael. But 1 of 5, is it better than 10% increased attack speed and 6% chance to stun an enemy target when attacked? It's definitely more damage overall than that. Yeah, I think I might put that on Michael just for Lost Battlefield reasons only because it adds more damage for Lost Battlefield, and really that's what I need overall. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and replace that. Blinding blow on Michael, one of five. All right, come on, baby, give us something else. What do we got? Ooh, four of five forest ward. We will take that for the free to play. Has a 20% chance to remove all conditions and restore 20% HP when attacked. Wow. Ooh, that's like a Michael talent right there, boys. Keeps Michael alive. Curse Battlefield here, which is 4% more damage. Kind of useless. I can't put a 4-5 or five on the Thunder God, though. I could put it on my Pumpkin Duke. <laughs> Has 20% chance to remove all conditions and restore 20% HP when attacked. I could put it on Pumpkin Duke. Reduces the healing effects on two random enemy heroes by 100%. I mean, 1.2 seconds. The cooldown on that's 8 seconds anyway. I mean, what's better in this situation here, boys? I'm thinking Pumpkin Duke for dungeons and other... I mean... It's either Pumpkin Duke or Michael. I do like the talent. I mean, I guess Vlad... Vlad would actually be a pretty good option for this talent on my free-to-play. The problem is I don't use Vlad anymore. It's like I don't even need Vlad for HBM, so... Yeah, Vlad's kind of outdated. Otherwise, I'd probably put it on him. I think I'm going to go with Pumpkin Duke, which is kind of crazy because it's not really the talent you want on Pumpkin Duke, but it is a 4 or 5 talent, and I think it's going to help me in dungeons like right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw it on Pumpkin Duke, boys. 4 or 5 Force Ward on the free-to-play Pumpkin Duke. Man, that is sexy. All right, so we got one more enchantment talent to roll. 
man, that was crazy. Four or five talent? What do we got coming next? Anything but a one of five one time? We got... What? Are you serious? A four or five four sword and a three or five four sword? Alright, so I guess Vlad now gets a four or five, a three or five four sword. I don't know. I'll come back and figure out where I want to put that. This event's actually real nice today because you also get three eggs from spending the gems. Is today spin gems and win? Oh no, I was about to say, that'd be real nice to spin gems and win too. Now hopefully this works. Let's make sure I get these 900 gems back. I'm going to be pretty upset if I don't. There we go, baby. 900 gems. Claim. Thank you. Now, if I wanted to roll an additional 2,100 gems, I could get 1,000 fame. But I don't, I'm don't. i not going to roll 2,100 gems. Not today. I don't think it's worth it. But the free free rolls, I mean, everybody should obviously take advantage of that. Free free rolls. Man, my free-to-play account is looking good on the augmentation now, boys. We got 4-5 Forest Word on the Pumpkin Duke. We got 5-5 five five Silencing Shot on the Ares. That is just too pretty. Obviously, these traits are absolutely terrible, but we'll fix them in the long run. Let's roll a, uh, come on, give me some love with the merits one time. Give me a 5 or 4 talent. I got a couple spare merits. Let's go. Where the threes? Where the fours at? Come on, man. Give me a four, one, two. Ooh, five, but it's crit damage. Crit damage? Yeah, crit damage ain't all of that. Not for an Aries. So anyway, guys, I think that pretty much does the video. Here's an overall look at what my enchantment talents look like. We got four or five energy sap on Anubis. One or five blinding blow on Michael, which I could put the forest ward on Michael as well. I don't really know. I kind of like the blinding blow there, honestly. 7% chance. That's a decent amount of chance. I mean, actually, that's really low, but... Come on. Blind for one second. So it's just one of five. Like, one of five. I don't know what to do with that. Probably going to end up putting this on Vlad, even though I don't use Vlad. I'm not sure. I'm just going to let it hide here for a little bit. Anyway, I would say that's a free success. Four or five on the Pumpkin Duke's definitely a huge upgrade for dungeons for my... Pumpkin Duke one time. I'm looking forward to that, boys. Anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you do not miss out on the enchantment talents. I am out of here for now. Peace out, fellas.